Hello everybody, welcome to this new episode. Today I would like to demonstrate how to read property files from inside the application from resources. I already made a video in which I explained how to do that from the file system, how to dynamically uh, read and modify a XML properties file from the file system, but today we're going to do it from inside the application. So the th first thing that I'm going to do is just create a project. Manage properties from resources. I create a project, create a class. The first thing, thing that I need to do is, um, of course, my properties file. I will look for it I already have a file here which simply contains uh, my environmental environment variables make sure that this file is located inside of your class I don't see it, it happen let's see what I did wrong put it right here I say copy and there you go so as I say make sure it's inside your class next thing thing I need to do is um, invoke the input stream I'll call it IS and here <coughs> I start by referencing the class in which I'm working with and then get resource as a stream it will ask you for an argument the argument will be the exact name of my file in this case M's XML. Good. Once I have that, I also will need to invoke the properties. Let's call it peer new properties. And let's see what is complaining. I need to import properties. I do that. Next thing I need to do is to reference the peer, the properties, and load from XML. This will ask me a input stream. I provide the input stream, which I already instantiated. And let's make sure that the code is clean. So we add some throw and catch safety methods. Once it's done, I can then go ahead and print out print a land and I grab my property and I get the property string just by by string it will do this is a property which I know is already in my system so I will just target that one and print it onto the screen um, okay let's target something different something like path if I just run, I see here is the path, uh, my path environment variable, variable, or another different one, and that is the structure of my of my properties file. So whenever I target one of those properties, it will display the contents. So that's pretty much how it works. Thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Cheers.